Are you looking for a quick fix to remove that unwanted belly fat? Yeah, me too. But unfortunately, it doesn't work that way, especially after 40. What's up, good people? My name is Tamara, and this is Daily Affirmations for the Big Girl and All of Us vlog. The vlog accompanies my new web series by the same name. While the web series focuses on interviews with health professionals, healthy recipes, workouts, and my fitness journey as a whole, the vlog lets viewers in on my daily routine. More than just the befores and afters, you, the audience, gets to see what actually happens when the cameras stop rolling between episodes and the real work takes place. It's my hope that the series and blog provides each viewer with an abundance of resources and grants us a better understanding of health and wellness beyond 40. So, if you're ready to embark on this adventure with me, let's get to it. Good morning, good morning everybody, and welcome to day number 10 of Daily Affirmations for the Big Girl and All of Us vlog. I am Tamara, and I am struggling this morning, truth be told. Um, had one of those evenings where I just could not go to sleep. I'm not really sure what's going on. I don't know if I'm stressed out or whatever the case may be, but nevertheless, I'm running off of about two hours of sleep. So I am on fumes, but I did want to get out here and try to get in a quick walk this morning. Currently it is 78 degrees and the temperature is climbing. I did not get out here as early as I wanted to, um, or as I'd hoped to, um, first thing this morning, but I'm out here nonetheless. So let's go ahead and get started with this walk while I still have the energy to actually go and do it. Um, like I said, I'm running off of fumes right now, but I am dedicated to this walk and I want to um, I want to get it knocked out as quickly as possible. So let's go ahead and get started. So something I just discovered, uh, apparently I'm so sleepy that I can't make any <coughs> quick movements um, without getting lightheaded. Just feeling a little dizzy there for a second, so I'm just going to try and take it easy, try to get in one or two laps, but if I can only do a mile today, hope you guys Please understand, the heart is willing, but the body is like, I need some sleep. <laughs> so we'll see, <laughs> we'll see how much I can get done. Somebody's smoking <sighs> outside and of course it's hitting me in the face. <sighs> anyway, I'll be back.
guys, I'm coming up off of the bridge onto the back side of the park. Um, let you guys know exactly what my step count is as soon as I get down to my starting point. And I will determine whether I intend to do another lap. Knowing me, I'm probably going to try to push it. But who can, who can really be sure about these things? <laughs> I don't know. Anywho, I hope you uh, guys are out getting some exercise this morning. Um, and if you're not, I hope you will consider getting up to go do some exercises. Just get out and walk or something. You know, something cool. All right. All right, you guys, I am back from my walk and I only clocked in 4,750 steps today. I know, I know, it's pretty, um, pretty bad, but I mean, all things considered, I only got an hour and a half of sleep today, so, or last night, so I'm just happy to be outside doing anything at this point in time. Um, it was a struggle, I'm not even gonna lie. It was a struggle trying to get up, it was a struggle trying to get out, it was a struggle trying to walk. And then while I was out on my walk, I was trying to narrate this just a little bit. Um, but there was a gentleman out there that was walking the, the uh, route ahead of me. And it was like he kept, I don't know if he was, I, I don't know, maybe he was just in his own little world too or whatever, but he kept like uh, hesitating and stuff and it was making me really nervous, especially as I was coming over the bridge because that's in a really wooded area. And of course my mind is reeling and it could just be the lack of sleep that's got me all paranoid and stuff. But I, I just want to say this much, I mean, in, in that it may seem really uh, strange to other people or people may laugh at you because you hold certain feelings about certain things. But some people attribute that feeling to having a, I've, I've heard people mention it as, uh, or refer to it as having a gut feeling or uh, a sixth sense or intuition or, um, you know, just being intuitive or, or and that kind of thing. But I like to think of it as the Holy Spirit uh, giving me the gift of discernment. It's like when you get this really uneasy feeling about something, um, you should really pay attention to whatever that feeling is. Because sometimes, um, if you're listening and you're paying close enough attention, that gets you out of some pretty precarious situations and allows you to take precautions that ordinarily you might just like overlook or something. But nevertheless, I kind of had that feeling um, this morning as I was walking around the backside of the park. This gentleman, like I said, he was, he was hesitating a lot. Um, it was almost like he was trying to uh, let me catch up to him or just get ahead of him or whatever. Um, but I did turn my camera on just in case. And then uh, he ended up walking out ahead of me and then he got off of the path and went down into the woods uh, near the pond and stuff. I mean, for all I know, maybe the man had to relieve himself or something, who knows? I don't know, but I wasn't trying to stick around to figure out what was happening. So I tried to put some distance between myself and that guy. And then as I came around, um, the, the park, he had gotten back ahead of me a little bit, but um, I just wanted to, I, I just didn't have a good feeling. So I um, just used that opportunity to head home. And it's just really important for you to be aware of your surroundings, especially when you're out walking and you're out by yourself. It's always good if you have someone to walk with you, to get them to walk with you, because you know, there's always safety in numbers. Um, so let's not lose sight of the world that we live in. I'm not saying that we should be crippled by fear or anything like that, but we definitely do need to take those extra steps just to remain safe. Make sure that you like and subscribe to the channel. Daily affirmations for the big girl and all of us. As always, 
be sure to hit the bell so that you are notified anytime we upload any resources, any new footage, uh, any exercises, whatever. Um, just make sure that you hit that bell so that you are notified whenever we have new material and new content to offer. Be on the lookout for the daily affirmations for the Big Girl and All of Us web series that is slated to drop within the next couple of days. Again, cannot express how excited I am about this project. It has been a year in the making, and so we're super excited to see this uh, project come to light. But again, have a wonderful day. Take care. Ta-ta. And until next time, bye. Well, that was definitely creepy. Please be sure to put safety first. We can't be too careful. And until next time, do good, be well, ta-ta, and bye.